Peace, queens, kings, guys, and goddesses. I hope you're doing absolutely amazing. I hope everything is going wonderfully for you. On this evening, it's Monday. Um, when I'm recording this, I don't know what day this will be when you're watching it. So thank you for coming over here, kicking it with me, your girl, with Tiffany, spending time with me on my channel. I appreciate you. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And once we get into the reading, and if this video resonates with you, don't forget to like it also, okay? I share, I share, I share. Thank you. So I wanted to focus on the heart chakra because that was coming up heavily for me. But whenever you watch this, I'm recording it at a timeless reading, okay? So whenever you find it, it is absolutely meant for you. All right. to know about the heart chakra. I've been having a whole team I, I, I call on to be here with me, y'all. So you take me up and tap in. All right, so we're gonna get into it. I just wanted to get the energy full. So heart chakra, I love reading for divine union. What is it that the collective who are in a divine union who are who are experiencing, attracting, manifesting, working on, working towards a divine union? Are at that place in their life where they know they have a divine partner. What is the messages that we all need to know? I shame for the heart chakra. Here we go. Yes. I shame. Um, two cards, please, spirit. Two cards. What is it that we need to go? Oh, okay. What do we need to know? Kindred spirits and the healing temple of the lunar light. So this one talks about life cycles, energy, healing, and communication. This one talks about spirit companions, guides, and comforts. Wow, that's beautiful. So there's definitely some healing of the heart chakra that needs to take place. Okay, right now. Um, that was kind of like the energy that I was picking up on. And I feel like this energy that's popping up for us on the table with the cards is telling us that's exactly what our heart chakra is doing. It is healing, okay? It's like recalibrating in a sense. Life cycles, energy healing, and communication. Now, you may be waiting for some communication. You may be needing to communicate some things. Communication may be a big part of this heart chakra healing that is taking place. Um, and, and that actually needs to occur at this very moment, kindred spirits. So you have guides coming to you for comfort. Your guides, your guides operate to give you messages. Like as you see the spirit appearing like to her here, like your spirit guide, just offering to deliver a message. And that's also what this communication energy can be about too. Messages from your spirit guides. But I also feel like this has something to do with um the connection because i'm reading specifically for divine unions people who are in divine union identify as such twin flame soulmate whatever it may be um working towards that but you already have that acknowledgement of that person in your life okay you know exactly who this person is and kindred spirits so your spirit guides popping up pairing to you Operating as your spirit companions, offering you information, sending, giving you messages, offering support as well in times of your need. Calling upon them, most importantly, right? Call upon your spirit guides when you need help. That is what they are there for, okay? All right, let's get deep, 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 deep into it with the tarot now, honey. All right, here we go. Shake, thank you, spirit. So we're going to see what this communication is on the Healing Temple. Um, we're, we're talking about the heart chakra and it says the Healing Temple of the Lunar Light. So where the light comes in, where the light gets through, then there's also water here. So a very healing energy, but it's also abundant because it's like in the middle of like, uh, I don't know, of, of, uh, a, a rainforest or so to speak, a forest. The temple is healing. The temple of your body, 
one being your heart chakra, like the other would be your sacral. Oh, that came out quick. Ten of cups, honey. Yes, honey. We got a lot of completion going on here because we got two tens. I hope the lighting is okay. We have two tens. So something completing and something beginning. Or will be okay ending beginning ten of swords betrayal um at the at your wits end or feeling as if it is the end you know um maybe been lied to um felt left like to to the you know to the day like just oh you just ab abandoned maybe um but that trans transforming into emotional fulfillment, 10 of cups of fullness. So the ending and the fullness of, when it, when it gets to 10, it's something that's been built and it got there. This, whatever came before this 10 was a whole cycle, like life cycles was a whole cycle. And it got to a 10 and it completed, if that makes sense. Before this 10 comes into fruition, something's not just going down and it's gonna be like, Beep. I mean, I'm not saying that can't happen, but what I'm saying is each one of these cups built 10. I mean, yeah, it can be built. It's not numerical, like, uh, you know, by cup by cup. But you understand what I'm saying? Stages that builds this fullness, this partnership. This would be like the beginning of something coming in to build it. So we're going to clarify. You see, look, yeah, the full of it. Taking that leap of faith to, to have this, okay? And this old cycle for what was back here, the past, the darkness, it's ended, okay? Those swords are going to fall out and it's going to be a new beginning, taking a leap of faith towards that. With the fool, that's going to begin a new cycle is my point, okay? New stages, new chapters into what is coming to fruition, what is going to become a rainbow, you know, something that is going to grow, okay? That's what this is. And I'm not saying it can't come in like this and all of a sudden it surprise you and hit you. But even once it comes in, it is going to develop, you know, things have to develop. So this is life cycle. So regardless if you are with your person or not, it's about the cycle ending and the new cycle beginning. Or that is what is needing to happen in order for this heart chakra to be able to experience this healing that needs to occur there. So we'll get deep into it. Something definitely needs to end. We got the death here with the 10. That's two endings. Two endings and two beginnings. We have the 10, the death and the 10 of swords. And then we have the beginning with the zero. This journey, taking this leap of faith on that new journey will bring in this abundance and fruition. But there's something about communication with it too. This is definitely taking a new path, choosing to take a new path. And see, it's all lining up. It's a new path or it's, it's a new journey or it's something that needs to be had in order to begin this new cycle, to choose to start that path as well. There's something with communication too. I, and I'm telling you, and that's also what's showing up because... And that is where it's bringing in the communication, coming in. This is something that needs to be had or will be had or is being had. There's a conversation. I'm not really like seeing timeline, but like that has a lot to do with whatever's going on with the heart chakra that needs to be healed, that needs to be like, and, you know, put to rest. That cycle ending of the pain, whatever, with these tens and these the, the death energy. As far as a transformation is what the death energy represents. And to in order to allow the heart chakra to heal and to begin a new one, this new healing journey. And that's what the cups energy is, emotional fulfillment. But it's a partnership. It, it brings you abundance. But cups is water, emotions, intuition. Okay? Look, emotions, intuition, queen of cups. So this is a feminine energy here. So perhaps it is the feminine. I'm not saying it's not the masculine that does not need to have his heart chakra healed. It's probably something else with the masculine. Maybe it is both the, fem the feminine and the masculine. But right now, the feminine is popped up. Queen of cups. We're going to keep getting deeper into it to see what's on the uh, divine masculine end as well for this union, okay? But for right now, the queen of cups her energy, the feminine, the feminine, whoever, male, female, the feminine energy, who you know, make it fit, um, is the one that is seeking some, some, some communication, some healing with the heart, something needs to transform with her in this, in this connection that can be very valuable or 
important to the connection. There is some blockages that are up as well. So perhaps the feminine has had blockages that she's, that she's placed. Maybe the masculine, maybe both of y'all. Some, there are some type of blockages that are getting in the way. Perhaps that's what's getting in the way of the of communication. So we'll try to see if we can find out what these blockages are. But there's definitely some communication that's going to be coming in fast from a king of wands. Okay, so here he is. Here's the masculine. Okay, so this was, so I'm going to stop there. Page of Swords. So also, whatever is going on, this always represents to me somebody watching you. And for where, where can people mostly watch you? on social media i mean unless it's a stalker energy and they driving by your house and shit but that's not what this feels like this is communication because it's more sword energy of what also was ending so a new cycle of communication a different type of communication is what needs to come in but that's per that person is coming in to bring that communication or the queen of cups needs that the feminine needs that and the masculine is coming to bring it we'll see or vice versa but it's something that needs to be had between both the connection, okay? The feminine and the masculine. The masculine is popping up as fire energy. Doesn't mean it have to be a fire sign, but it's fire energy. Okay, that's just how they're appearing in the reading. All right, and the female is emotional energy, water energy, or intuitive, okay? Uh, wands, passionate energy. Technically, Zodiac, it's Leo, Sag, Aries, and the cups is uh, Pisces, uh, Cancer, and... Uh, Scorpio, because I always think I always get Scorpio mixed with fire, because for whatever reason they have this fiery energy to me. But communication for sure, especially with the Knight of Swords. So there's something about communication needing to be had with both masculine and feminine. That is that needs to be transformed with this death energy, the transformation energy, and this new journey towards the fullness. In order for that to be developed and to come, some blockages need to come down and communication needs to be had. That's what's going on with the heart chakra, with this healing energy, this energy healing, the life cycles, in order for that heart chakra to heal. Okay, so let's see what else. What else do we got? What questions do we have? Tell us about... Tell us about this King of Wands. Oh, the moon. Oh, damn. Not great. So the masculine is uh, operating from a place of like hidden emotions, disturbed emotions, not expressing his full emotions, hidden, right? A cycle that the, the moon is also cycles. As the card says here, life cycles right there. So the masculine may be going through some cycles right now himself as far as, as his emotions. Um, maybe he needs to communicate them. Um, they're hidden and that's maybe what is bothering him, her, and the connection. There's hidden, there's something with his emotions here. Tell us more about that for the masculine, please, sir. Thank you, Michelle. What's up with the masculine? Okay, so now we've got the sun and the moon. Yeah, look at that there. And this is you, honey. Well, the feminine, the, the independent woman. So the moon is clarified by the sun. This has a few different meanings. This is definitely feminine energy and this is masculine energy. But we're talking about the King of Wands. This is his energy that we're talking about. So this is the masculine. The King of Wands is in a position right now where he's operating from <sighs> instinct, not intuition. Um, the feminine is operating from intuition, flu and, you know, and fluidity, water flow. The masculine is fire energy. That's instinct. So that's, I don't want to say polar opposite. But it's giving that feel, that vibe, the same thing, like with the masculine and the feminine. It's the same energy, right? It's like maybe that is the blocker that's there. Um, so I'm sure some of them may come up with balance needing to be had. Um, they're probably between the two and then also within the connection. Excuse me, the feminine is tapped into, you're extremely tapped into your feminine energy. You're extremely tapped into your emotions, your intuition. The masculine is tapped into that drive, that passion, that fire. 
and that, that's, that's not always sex. That's just about ambition, you know, creative mindset, being dead set on like accomplishing whatever it is, like their goals, whatever they're focused on at the time. If it's work, career, business, you know, making money, that's where their their head is at. That's that fire energy. That's why I say it don't they don't necessarily have to be the sign. It is the energy that the masculine is operating at. The female, she's more tapped into her intuition. Okay. And she's like, you're operating from your divine feminine energy. And he's operating from his divine masculine energy. Whether or not if he you already know it, but that's what's showing up. So the queen of cups, her intuition tap into her emotions being aware of how she feels knows what she feels you know wants to explore that wants to express that but then we got the king of wands over here he's not doing that he's not expressing his feelings he's hiding them you know it's they're bottled up there's something he's not expressing with you know these are the like the, his energy he's kind of it's hitting a little bit right now but it needs to come to the light that's why the sun came out this is also that pull that that divine feminine energy remember i was talking about not polar opposites but like like opposites attract type energy this is eclipse energy you know how the moon you know we have eclipses briefly over the sun and then we get like that they come together and then we kind of see them both are mainly just the light, but the light brings the healing <laughs> that's necessary for the heart chakra. And in this situation to this, this block, which is the, 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 maybe the lack of communication or the lack of communicating how they really feel. Okay. Um, and which is, which is, which is what needs to be brought to the light or healed is what the sun card does. Okay. That's how the the heart chakra will be healed because there's blockages right now. The heart chakra. Um, he popped up on the table too. So I don't really want to just say it's the feminine right now that got blockages. I feel like he does as well because he came out also. We got the feminine and the masculine here. The cup energy and the fire energy. Okay. The wand energy. Mm. So we have, let me clarify this eight of wands too, because something's coming in. That would be communication. So I want to tap into that or it will be had, right? There's a discussion or a conversation that you two will have. All right, let's just see what's up, you guys, because I got a lot of things I want to clarify right here. Okay, speaking, there it is here, the king of swords. So the masculine is the one that needs to communicate something. Well, yeah, okay, he's the one with the high in his feelings and his emotions. But he's the one that's going to come forward to do that because that's what this energy represents, coming with a dynamic energy. So it's the masculine. Maybe maybe feminine, you've been waiting on that. Maybe that's something you've been waiting on. All right, tell us more. Yeah, look at this. Yep, and they he's been preventing himself because we know who it is. It's the fem it's the masculine. I I'm tapped into both of the feminine and the masculine energies. And he ain't he's like, no, I'm not, I don't have I don't I don't see a cup, I'm not giving. He wasn't sharing of his emotions. He wasn't expressing fully how he felt or feels. There's something he's holding back. And whatever that may be in your situation. There's something a divine masculine. <clears throat> It's not telling you, but it's related to his feelings, cups. It's related to his feelings, okay? <clears throat> this doesn't have to be anything bad. It's just something that needs to be expressed within the connection. It's something that needs to be communicated. There's a conversation that needs to be had in order for both of y'all's heart chakras to begin to be healed because right now that is where the block is in the heart chakra, if that makes sense. Excuse me, you guys. Excuse me. This is my kombucha. Okay. Okay. And yeah, this is this is the feminine waiting. You know, she's still see, she's very much tapped into her intuition. I told you her emotions, her fluidity. She's very much still tapped into that you feminine. So even though there is some blockages in the heart shock, and maybe you didn't even really recognize that because you're like, I'm still focused on me. I'm still growing. I'm still abundant. Despite what I may be going through with my masculine, right? With my divine counterpart. But this is the energy of what's, what's coming towards you, okay? It's the masculine coming towards 
you, his feminine, to communicate whatever it is that he's expressing. There's a conversation. Maybe you guys haven't been talking. Maybe you guys been giving each other cold shoulder. Maybe, you know, maybe y'all been, there's been some tension in the house, in the room. Maybe there's something that y'all been knowing needed to be addressed and it hasn't been addressed. And until it get addressed, there's still going to be, it's like, yeah, I'm still flourishing. I'm good, but there's still blockages there. Does that make sense? Like, yeah, I'm, I'm straight. Like, I'm healing. I'm great. Not like, if, you, know, you know, no one's perfect, but you, you're you aware that you're doing the work, that you're healing. It's like me, I can say, I'm good, but okay, oh, but damn, do I still got some blockages up? Because this is heart, we're talking about the heart chakra specifically. So yeah, I'm good, but do I still got blockages? And having that realization, coming into that understanding that that's the shadow of what we didn't see and that we need to work on. The, the man too, the masculine too. And it's not just us feminines, it's him too. Because he's here too. Okay. So let's see what's up with this moon and the sun. Energy, please. Thank you. So the will of fortune. Look at that. So <laughs> this is beautiful. This is cycles. The will turns cycles. And that's what we're talking about. I have to show y'all. Life cycles, what it says right here. Life cycles. That's why I was saying life cycles in the beginning. And that's exactly what this talks about. And it started off with life cycles. With the tans, I was telling you, with the transformation, with the death. There is something that is turning. Whether you realize it or not, but this is also something that needs to be done. So there's going to be an opportunity for this to occur, this healing, this conversation that needs to be had. I feel like it has a lot to do with some type of conversation, okay, with the communication there. But it's coming. you got the will of fortune right in the middle of the feminine and the masculine energy, the moon and the sun. So something is working out in y'all's favor. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful energy. Literally, look, the, the, the sun and the moon with the divine... Not even, yes, it's divine timing, but this is destiny, okay? This is what is meant to be working out. And right in the middle of both of the energies in y'all favor. But this is also a balance energy. So like I was saying, yeah, there needs to be a balance. So uh, so let me back up a little bit because it, it, it came up and I didn't say it. Perhaps because the feminine is more tapped into her feminine energy, which is beautiful, but she also needs to balance out her masculine and, and feminine energies within, as well as the masculine. He's operating from a straight masculine energy. You know, that that focus, that go-getter mentality, that drive, that fashion, I mean that passion, that fiery energy to accomplish something. What is he trying to accomplish? Let's see. And he perhaps also needs a balance of that to slow down, to make time, to tap into his intuition, not so much operating from instinct, to tap into his feelings and his emotions and be able to open up and express that because that's what he's lacking. And then this feminine, we may be needing to, you know, ramp up into more of our uh, instinct and, you know, not so much intuition, but balancing that out, your instinct and your intuition. Because that's what that is. It's a balance. And that's what the will of fortune is too. So there needs to be a balance within the connection with, with what's going on. How the feminine is operating merely from her intuition, from her emotions. But completely tapped into it. Because that's what the Queen of Cups is. She's tapped in. She's emotionally um, balanced. But she's really emotional. She's receiving of emotion. Her heart is open. She wants love. She gives love. Okay, but he's showing up as fire, the exact opposite of that, and not in a bad way, but that's that, that masculine energy I was talking about, that drive, right, that instinct. So you have intuition and instinct, and then there used to be a balance of the feminine with both, and then also with the masculine, but then also within the connection. And that's the heart chakras, right? And, and let me just let you guys know that because I was making mention on my Instagram that because heart chakra came up very heavy for me today. That's why I'm doing this reading because I've been taking my nature, you know, d days every day um, because it's healing for me. And heart chakra came up for me heavy today when I was out there. So I'm like, I want to do a cleansing. That's why I'm here doing the reading. But I also wanted to do a cleansing because I am a Reiki master. I'm an energy healer. I'm a level three. I'm a certified Reiki master. So, um... 
I wanted to send out some energy healing. I was only going to do up to 12 people for this first group, depending on how it goes, if I continue. But right now, I have felt the need to work on the heart chakra because I can tell you, oh, yeah, this is going on with the heart chakra. It needs to be balanced. And you're going to be like, well, how am I, well, what, how am I going to balance my, what? I don't know what to do. <laughs> you were like, I just put a stone there. Yeah, you can do that too. But if you need a deeper level, level of healing, which is what this feels like, because it does feel very heavy because there's so many blockages, then an energy healing session will work. So that's what I'm planning on doing. If that's something you think you'll be interested in, drop your comment below too and just let me know. Um, okay, but all the other, other stuff you'll see on my stories and my Instagram, right? At Hillary Tiffany, okay? So, but yeah, because the, the, in, because the healing needs to be had in the heart chakra, you're now becoming aware of what's going on and that there does need to be a balance, but it also needs to be work that needs to be done to in order to remove these blockages. And look, this is also imbalanced because he got two different shoes on. So if he's not even on that state of steady ground. I'm trying to find my footing. I'm trying to find that balance. And that's that balance of those yin and yang energies within oneself and then also within the connection. So both the divine feminine and masculine got work to do, but you can only focus on yourself. And as you focus on yourself, your beam of light shines through to your divine counterpart as well, because that's just the way that it goes. Okay. And see, that's that sun that came out over the moon <laughs> and brought and show and sh somebody's light got to shine. Both people can't be stuck and defensive. Somebody has to make the first effort to get the, to move the healing along together. I mean, via talking about it. Okay. That part is what I'm talking about. The communication. Of course, you're going to do your own work. Right, but then there's also communication that needs to be had, and it's not a, it's not a thing like, well, he he's not there yet. I can't conversate with him. Then, conversate with them where he's at, but have the conversation. Okay. All right. So we got divine timing. We got something destined. The what? This the wheel of fortune working out in your favor. The cycle, the healing of the heart chakra. This conversation, like I keep saying, is going to come up. It's going to be had. Okay. So. Let me just clarify this just to make sure. Um, Ace of Pentacles. So, yeah, there's some um, blockages for sure because we got um, some mental blockages too, look. But we got the Ace of Pentacles, which means that I have to grab this, y'all. We got the Ace of Pentacles, which means it's going to be a new beginning, a brand new abundance. Oh, and the lovers, honey, Yes. A brand new abundant beginning, okay? So this is beautiful, all right? This Gemini energy here, Ace of Pentacles, this Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I mean, but basically all the signs are here. So that's why I don't really do signs unless I feel very heavily like, oh, that, that, that sign popped up. But we got a brand new beginning and this connection and this divine union, okay? That's what that says. Um, and that comes after the blockages, right? That comes after the healing or working through it because there's mental blockages and imprisonment that, that causes this this um, imbalance or this miscommunication or for whatever reason that there can't be a communication. So like somebody's in their head a lot about it if it's mental imprisonment, like in their head, like heavily overanalyzing something um, instead of communicating about it, just rethinking it or going over it and over and over again in your head. Um, either you are the masculine, somebody is, Maybe both of y'all, you know, but it's something that's going to be definitely transformed, but it's only after the work is done. Obviously, you can't, it's not just going to magic peel. So, um, what else can you give us about what needs to be had aside this conversation? Thank you, Spirit. Tell us a little bit more about this black energy, please, because I feel attracted, to, drawn to focus on that. To see what that's about. Tell us what's up with this black energy, this mental blockage, block and the imbalance, the heart chakra. What is it? Thank you, Spirit Asher. Uh, tell us more about this pod. I'll be having to make sure my timer is still going on. Okay, tell us more about this blocked energy here, Spirit. Thank you. So we got we got the moon again, and we got judgment. All right, two major arcana. So this is a major life event, something like a tower moment that's gonna have to happen, or something that did happen. 
it's an it's a judgment call. See this that's what this energy is too, like the, like divine intervention, an awakening, something destined, fated that's supposed to happen. Maybe that something happened. Because we're talking about why the blockage is here or somebody's having an awakening to realizing that there are blockages, that this moon energy, that those hidden feelings or whatever wasn't being brought to the surface. Um, they were having an awakening that that is the blockage. Tell me more. Three of Wands. So that, that's somebody waiting. Oh, there we go again with the blocked energy. Look at that. We got it again. That's Seven of Wands. But the one I told you with his foot having on two different shoes. Somebody is. Oh, I, am. I said, tell me about the block energy and it gave me more blocked energy. Okay. This is the answer right here. Because I wasn't going to take it, but I said a tower moment. Remember I said that? And it definitely came out. So something happened that uh, caused the tower moment some type of event that in somebody's life uh far as like life changing right it was a wake up call in a sense um something that needed to be torn down or like demolished in order for something new to be built back up or that needs to happen. I don't know. But we got the tower here. You know, there's a rebuilding that occurs after the tower, just like the Phoenix it burns down, but it's building up. What what no longer worked is is demolished. It's done. It's tore down. See, look, heart chakra. So it's heavy energy for the heart chakra. There's immense pain here. Um, and indecision as well. Look at this, the Tower, the Two of Swords and the Three of Swords. So there's been something with the, somebody's heart for real that broke their heart. Shit. Somebody was bro heartbroken or felt like they was heart was broken or... Oh, shit. This is how I told you. This is reading. This is getting deep. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Page of Swords. Mm. Three of Pentacles in the world. <laughs> Couldn't make a fucking decision. Here we go. Fuck. Something definitely came to an end, though. Maybe something that came to an end, that tower moment, whatever the fuck that was. Is what caused the blockages. Or it has something to do with it. <sighs> Tell me about this three of pentacles. Because I got the three of pentacles and the page of swords. So this that's like watching energy. I got page of swords again. Somebody watching. And then it gave me that with the three of pentacles. Like, why I get the why is the three of pentacles there with the world and the knight of cups with the seven of wands and the two of swords? Death. So this is something that needed to end. I mean, there is no way around. I can't keep trying to not say it. Shit. There was an other person in the in the mix. Cause we got the tower and the death. That shit needs to end, or it, it ended. That or that has something to do with somebody making a decision. That is what's causing the, the fucking blockages. And that's and that is the that that is the exact thing that needs to be communicated. Okay, there was somebody else in the picture, whatever that was, whatever that looked like, business related, if it was a co-worker, if it was a a other partner, if it was a, a, a ex, a, a spouse, or a, a, a somebody who got in the way. I didn't even have to be romantic. I mean, family members be getting in the way of people's relationships, you know. So, I mean, it's something that got in the way that somebody feel like they have to choose between. 
whether that choice been made or not, I don't know. Maybe that's what the block is or maybe that choice was made and that's where all this heartbreaking shit is because somebody done went through something. Or maybe that's what needs to be communicated about. I don't know. There's so many messages here. Why is the Three of Cups here? Oh, death. So that's what needed to end. That third party conundrum. What does she call it? Entanglement. That third party entanglement needs to end. Three of Pentacles, death. If it was something being built, because typically the Three of Pentacles is about something being built, but it's not going to build and die at the same time. Like, Something being built after a tower, would, then it will build. It's not going to both be dying and building simultaneously because that's what that would say. So this is something that needs to end is my point. So three people, right, needs to end, whatever that may mean. And there's also an indecision there too. And then there's heartache. So there was something that had to do with another person that caused some heartache for either you or your person are interfered in the connection one way or the other, which is what is caused the blockages, which is exactly the same thing that needs to be communicated or conversed within the situation for some clarity. That's also sword energy clarity. And also that will also heal the, heal the heart chakra for whatever is going on. You know, it can be different for both of you. If you're in a situation where you're not married and you're just like someone left their somebody else for you, do you understand what I'm saying? Like their their relationship ended and now they're coming to you. So now they they had a tower moment. There's, you know, they feel broken hearted about it because it was still something that they was in. But then, then they had to make a choice. You knew they had to make a choice to end this three this three party third person entanglement. That should have to die in order for this new thing to begin. And that's also some part of what needs to be communicated about or discussed. Okay, because there is some hidden feelings. Now that's just an example. Now, if you are married or with your person and you know there's been something else going on, whoever it could have been a family member, um, could have been another woman, could have been so whoever, I don't know, shit. And that person was involved in the connection which caused blockages between you and your divine masculine or feminine. Then that is what needs to be discussed or addressed or communicated in order for these blockages in the connection to be removed. And then also for the heart chakra to be removed. The healing, I mean, to, to occur there. If that makes any sense, you guys. I'm trying to help you. So, yep, death and a rebirth. So that needs to end in order for something new to begin. And the Empress appears as um, love, you know, it's Venus energy, it's love, it is um, nurture, you know, it's a mother. Somebody, they see you as a mother figure, you are a mother figure, you are a mom. And they see you that way, they see you as nurturing. Yeah, see, look, so, okay, great. Thank you, masculine, because you have this over here, it's like, what the fuck is you doing? All right, good. Excuse me, excuse my language, you guys. Excuse me. <laughs> Because he is making the choice, okay? Because first he was indecisive, or somebody was, all right? But this is his energy because I just pulled three cards over here that I'm going to get to. Yeah, because he's the one who's, remember in the beginning, that's communicating or needs to communicate or open up to communicate his feelings, and that came out again. Over here, right, when I was clarifying him just right now. So we got these two cards. He went from indecision, can't see, to now I can see. Okay, and I'm making a choice and doing what it is I need to do to move in that direction. Okay, um, but what he wants to do is bring a conversation. There's something that he will he's willing to discuss with you, is is coming to discuss with you, or is prepared to discuss with you. Okay, um, again with the communication in order to have the stability, I feel like he knows that the hair of in order for this connection to grow, in order to have this higher level of commitment with you to re basically to remove those blocks that were there. Okay. All right. Dang, we didn't even get on this other card. Okay, so we got all of that, right? That was a lot. I hope you guys got it. Let's get to the spirit guides. Why are the spirit guides here? All right. Real, I don't want to say real quick because I ain't trying to rush this reading. I'm just trying to do it. Ooh. And if it ends up being a little longer, then it just ends up being a little longer, honey. Because honestly, y'all know, I haven't been doing readings like that lately because I've been 
just really developing in so many different ways that even my gifts are changing and developing and how I use those are changing and developing as well. And I really, really only want to come when I know there's something powerful that I need to say instead of just like making videos every day, every day, every day, every day. You know what I'm saying? When I really get a message and that's what happened today with the heart shock when I was at the lake and I said I really had received a strong need to talk about this. I, you know, I got some information about it. It was coming to me and it was so crazy. If y'all want to hear more about that little quirky story, you can watch it on my, my Instagram at Hill and Tiffany. All right, because I talked about it. It was it was wild how it happened. Like the little duckies was out there. They like ran up on me, but I was like, I, I knew it had to do something with something. Anyway, I came home and researched the meaning of ducks and I was like, oh, because I knew it had to be something going on. There had to be some type of message hanging on. And yet, lo and behold, there were. There was. Okay. So, all right. We didn't already talked about you healing tempo. That was a lot, right? So, y'all got that? <laughs> all right. Here we go. The kindred spirits. Now, we're going to talk about your spirit guides. Because that's between you and your man. Uh, how y'all need to talk. Are you and your woman? Okay. The, the communication that needs to be had for the healing and the, the energies and all that. Right? So now this card talks about your kindred spirits, spirit companions, guides, and comfort. A kindred spirit is also can be like your divine masculine. That's somebody that you have a spiritual connection with, like a kindred soul. So that can be that too. It doesn't just have to be in the spiritual realm, your spirit guides, right? So this can relate to that, but I'm just going to, that's why I'm going to pull some cards to see. Because it says guides and comfort. So receiving comfort um, from your, your, your spirit guides, your kindred souls. Four voices. Oh, see, that's that relaxing, that meditative energy. Oh, look, and to be able to see something, like, to see something clearly. Foresight. Looking out into the universe. Like, being able to... And we got four and four. That's beautiful. We got two fours. Do you guys know this is the energy of stability, of, ba of balance, of harmony? So we got four of wands. Oh, that's an 11-11 energy, baby. That came out um, on this card, too. Okay. That divine union is definitely a divine union, all right? But we knew that when we started because that's what I was channeling. But yes, it popped up on the table. And four voices. This is very significant or similar to that other energy because it's about taking a rest. Okay. And coming together. All right, tell me more about this four voices. Why is this here? The knight of voices. See? Taking that rest, that stillness, allows for this communication too. So maybe there's a time period that needs to be had. Don't just go like, you know, I'm about to go talk to him. Oh, okay, now, now I got to go have a talk with her, and it's just sporadic. So I'm happy Spirit is further developing the message. Just a rest, a time of, like, reflection or meditation or medit Like, even, like, see how she's out in the wood in nature just communicating with the Spirit, with her Spirit guides. Taking time to herself to reflect. That's also what this energy is about, the four voices. Taking a moment to, like, to yourself to meditate, to allow some peaceful energy within yourself as well even before this conversation because that's what this is night of voices is had okay which makes sense because you don't want you're trying to clear up conflicts and remove blockages so you don't want to enter into a conversation as a heated debate or to this conversation that needs to be had communicating in a toxic or unhealthy way so there's something within you that needs to be tapped into before you before this this conversation will be able to be had in order for you guys to continue to build that the, the way the conversation is had is as important as having the conversation if that makes sense right it needs to be a peaceful conversation okay something about the um yeah five of voices so yeah taking the olive branch see so yeah it needs to be a peaceful conversation okay where the two of you are coming together to to both to to resolve something, to bring in the harmony, right? The eleven eleven, this this balance, this four of inspiration, this this togetherness energy. That's the eleven eleven energy I was talking about. To bring it in, you know, just like take those wives, take the olive branch, okay? Take that olive branch. Tell me a little bit more about this other kind of spirit. Page of materials, yeah, and then it will allow for a new, 
um, it's like the first, the beginning of, right? The beginning of the newness materializing, eight of emotions. Yeah, look, and then the emotions come. Eight of emotions is, is, is walking towards emotional fulfillment, right? On a journey to seek that. Nine of emotions is, is the energy of, of that coming in, that, that, that healing energy. And page of materials is that materializing, okay? So there's personal work basically that needs to be done. That's what all this is telling us, all right? You may want to spend time in nature. You may want to talk to your spirit guides to see what personal messages that they have for you, okay? Because there may be some things that you can get. Like right now, you're getting spiritual messages. But then isn't there, there's even a little fairy down here. And there's lavender in here. So there may be something about lavender that you can use to calm you all, to, to soothe you. And that's funny. I, this I haven't made a big way up. It's my lavender spray. And it, I'm going to spray some from my damn sink. <sighs> smells really good, you guys. <sighs> I think I should have these ready very, very soon. I keep saying that, but I just have to repackage them. But I see lavender here. So maybe lavender is, maybe lavender is, is it, it looks like lavender is around the spirit guide that appeared to her too. So if you have some essential oil that's lavender, you have some lavender flowers, um, you have some type of like if I would if this would be available a lavender spray something lavender the actual plant itself. Um, let me show you lavender tea something like that. I don't know if you guys have an altar. If you do, you make offering. Maybe you can offer up some lavender. You can offer up some lavender to your ancestors. It's also what this energy can be to talk to them to channel their energy. Maybe there's a message that they want to give you. Drink some lavender tea that may be very healing for you as well through this time to calm you, soothe you. Lavender is something that you may really need right now at this moment, okay? All right. Um, all right. So that's what I got for that. Let me just get some final oracle messages for us and see um, what spirit got to say, okay? Let's get some guidance, actually, because we already have 47 minutes. Where's my other cards? <clears throat> yeah, let's just get some guidance. Whew. What is the guidance for the collective for this heart chakra reading as it pertains to this divine union? Excuse me. Where's the guidance? This one I'm going to read as you just relax and watch. Like, I'll be watching certain uh, readers, and some of them, they make longer ones. Like, this is one oracle. Shame, and I forget. But anyway, hers be an hour, but it'd be totally worth it because she'd be tapping into so many different layers, and she gives so much information. So it's worth the watch. It's not something that I'm trying to, like, just jump on and watch real quick. It's something that, I, like, there's a lot of nuggets of wisdom that I know she'd be having in there. But that's how I feel about uh, this reading particularly. It's very long, and I'm not going to try to cheat it by cutting the short guidance. Oh, the way that fell out. Whoa. And I was envisioning this card when I was talking about instinct. So it popped up. Remember I was telling you the masculine is operating in his instinct? And feminine is operating in her <sighs> intuition? So vision quest. So definitely on the journey. It's definitely a journey. I don't know why instinct is there though. Blessings and breath. Okay, so we got. I'm not gonna take those. I like this. Um. Maybe again, that's what that fem that balancing out that energy, the the feminine tapping into your instinct as well as your intuition, and not just operating merely on your intuition. So allowing a balancing of both your divine feminine and masculine energies and, and vice versa for the male. Stop operating only from your instinct and tap into your intuition as well. Okay, your spiritual self, your higher self, when I say intuition. Okay, that emotional energy, don't be so blocked and closed off from just operating off of your instinct. Open up and express and the feminine. Also balance your emotions with your instinct, okay? All right? With your with your your head, I'm sorry. Your emotions with your head. All right, y'all know what I mean. Chat views. Okay, we got that for that. I think 
if this is good. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that chakra uh, healing session. I'm going to prepare myself for it over the next couple of days. And I'll be doing it maybe this weekend. And I was saying I'll just probably charge like $10, you know, just to send it out. Because it's, it takes a lot of energy. Not mine, because I'm accessing Reiki, you know. But for me to perform it, you know, um, I'm not sending my energy to nobody. I'm sending universal healing energy out. But um, because I'm an empath and for, for me to work with such large amounts of energy, doing that type of work um, requires a lot for me. So um, I have to properly charge and take care of myself as well, you know. So that's why I say I'll just charge a little $10 so that way, you know, everybody can't get access to it. But then it'll be a, a, a equal exchange of energy, right? All right, for the collective, this is one, please. Thank you, Spirit. I should have came out quick. So, Alabaster Tablet of Layla. I'm going to just read this real quick to y'all so we can get the medicine and then I'll be done. Okay, guys. Woo. Cards, babe. All right, we have 41. I hope this light ain't so bright and orange and funny looking, but if it is, oh well, because we didn't already roll through the whole thing. All right, then I'll be um bathing in the lamb. I'll put it down into this, honey. All right, so we got the alabaster tablet of Layla. Whoop. You are remembering at a soul level, you are tapping into greater awareness and an understanding of your highest life purpose shall become even clearer to you. This may evoke unsettling change within you, but that change is necessary for a new way to manifest. You are protected and guided at all times, especially when you feel uncertain about your course. You are truly loved. So that's where the guides was coming from. Your spirit guides showed up. The angel Layla heralds from Talmudic scriptures. Unlike any other angel, she is specifically described as a feminine being. I have to read this in its entirety. Um, Layla is a reminder that there is a place only the feminine can feel. If we attempt to live our lives skewed toward the masculine, we will miss out. There is great value in masculine tendencies toward exploration, adventure, progress, and development. However, the feminine tendencies toward compassion, acceptance, kindness, and mercy are a balance and necessity. Wasn't I just saying that? Balance and Okay, just, just saying. For humanity to survive, those dual wisdoms need to find balance and integrate into mature expect expression in every human heart. Thank you, Spirit Ashe. I don't be trying to be, you know, cocky or anything like that, but I know when I channel what I'm saying. I don't, I don't be just making up stuff. And it's clarify with this last card that I said I'm pulling for the medicine. The whole reading was about your heart chakra, it was about balancing out those feminine energies within divine feminine and divine masculine within oneself, but within also this divine connection. Okay. And that's what this is saying. It says for humanity to survive, those dual wisdoms need to find balance and integrate into mature expression in every human heart for the heart to heal. The appearance of Layla in a reading suggests the feminine must lead at this time. Allow the way to be shown rather than directing a path based on your current perspective. The feminine needs to take the lead. Whoa. Whoa. But it says allow the way to be shown rather than directing a path based on your perspective. So yeah, you need to go work with your uh, spirit guides. If you got an altar, you work with your ancestors, however you do it. And that's why lavender came up. I think give them an offering of lavender. Um, and you need to connect with them, okay? Because that is where you're going to find the information. It says, allow the way to be shown. It says, take the lead, but allow the way to be shown. So your spirit guides will show you the way from you connecting and speaking and tapping into them. 
So then that way you're not operating on what you want to do. It says rather than directing a path based on your current perspective. So instead of moving forward in a way that you think, oh, this is what I should do, tap into the energy of your spirit guides to guide you so they can show you. And that's also why, look, vision quest. That's also why the four, the four of swords came out, remember? And I was saying take time to rest and even maybe go out in nature because you have to be able to have um, yourself right for whatever this communication or this conversation is going to be had as well. How I was saying it's not only the conversation, but it also how it's going to be had. So if the feminine is stepping up and being in, in leading, then you're going to have to be able to lead in a way that is coming from higher self, right? And so you're going to have to take time to tap into that energy, basically, for me to break it down, okay? Um, because you have to approach this this with a gentleness and, or a balance of the the direct the the leading being the leader but leading from a from you know they say the women the feminine we really be leading but it's how we lead right we're not up we're not the on the forefront the 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 warrior the leader out there saying fight no no we really lead in silently basically there's a balance in how we how we really leading and guiding. Wow, that's beautiful. That's powerful shit. You know? And by example also is what this said. Okay, let me just finish reading. Is it that hit me? That really just hit me hard. Layla is a garden angel watching over all transitions, including the transition of the soul into the embryo during conception and the guiding of the soul out of the body and into the realms of light. When a physical life draws to a close. So alabaster was loaded by the ancient Egyptians as a guardian stone. The alabaster tablet of Layla indicates that you are navigating a significant transition. I told you I was something transforming. I told you the ending and the new cycle beginning to, to get to those 10 of cups indicates you're navigating a significant transition. It may, be, it may be that your outer life is going through a change or it may be that inner changes are happening within your soul or both. You may not know how to traverse the shifting inner and outer landscapes, but this oracle advises you that this great angel is guiding you faithfully and effectively. So that's this vision quest. So see, that's that instinct, following your instinct on this journey. But also, see, that's why I said it's a balance because it's not about your instinct. It's a balancing of your instinct and your intuition. Your intuition, excuse me, which is basically about feminine and masculine energies. Okay. Life is then the journey of reconnection and rediscovery. The alabaster tablet is a crystalline scripture. Its vibration encourages the soul to seek the light and the spiritual path, sparking remembrance of inner truth. Okay. Your inner self connecting to your heart as well, healing your heart chakra. All right. So this oracle encourages you to perform a spiritual cleansing that feels right for you, sealing your work with the protective shield of white light. Wow. You can accomplish this by calling upon the alabaster tablet of Layla, combine the sacred earth medicine of alabaster and the celestial angelic protection of Layla using the healing process below. So basically do a healing ritual, which is what I'm offering as well. The heart chakra, if you don't know how to do or perform one to yourself, perform one on your altar or with your ancestors, build you an altar again, offer them some lavender and also some alabaster. Okay, but it's this is heart healing. There's a point of light within your heart. As you notice that light, it rapidly expands. They give you a healing process and it's focused on the heart. Okay, so this is definitely a heart chakra reading for sure. Okay. Wow, that's beautiful. So that's the guidance and that's the medicine. Allowing yourself to do a, a energy healing cleansing a spiritual healing cleansing, an emotional cleansing. 
um, to allow yourself to allow for a purification of your heart chakra, of your energies, okay? Spend time with your spirit guides. Talk to them. Go out into nature, however you choose to do that. Praying, you know, it's the same thing. Um, ask them for guidance on how to move forward, right? Because there is, again, um, a conversation that needs to be had with your masculine that's going to catapult like the change that's also happening in this connection. But before you guys have that communication, feminine, you're charged with leading, but with compassion, um, integrity, and logic, right? And instinct, right? So mixing both of those. But in order to get there, you gotta work um, on a few more things yourself, depending on where you at in your journey, to ensure that you're healing, working on that heart chakra. Not like, oh, it's gonna be all the way healed, but that you're in a, in a space whereas when this conversation happens, that you're prepared to con emotionally basically control yourself. Um, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but I'm saying since we're operating as the leaders, so say the Oracle, you know, it's calling for us to be able to lead at this point. Um, even though the masculine will be coming in to communicate or is willing to communicate, whatever it is that he's, that's troubled, but being able to like guide and lead him to do so in a gentle way, okay? Um, but still having a balance of our feminine and masculine energies, okay? So being being able to be assertive but gentle, you know, being able to use our logic but our intuition as well, all right? So operating from our head and our heart, okay? Um, and being mindful of that. I feel like initiating, maybe, maybe initiating the conversation when you're ready, okay? I feel like basically to break that down and to make it simple. And then the masculine, if it's you, you're watching, you're, you're, you're preparing yourself to um, have that conversation as well, okay? Um, or you need to prepare yourself to have that conversation and balance out both your energies too. work on whatever needs to be worked on with yourself so you can have a balance of your divine masculine and divine feminine energies to go forth to speak to your divine feminine um, assertively, but also with compassion and love, okay? So you can control your emotions too and balance out how you feel. Basically, because the masculine, y'all the ones who hold back how you feel and the feminine basically want to get it out of you and so we're charged with gently leading that, maybe that conversation, that discussion. All right. All right, my sweet beauties. I'm done. That's what I got for y'all. I hope that resonated and I hope it fitted you well, okay? Thanks for coming over here and kicking it with me. If it resonated with you heavily, which I'm, I feel like it's going to resonate with a lot of people, please don't forget to support me and like the video, okay? I love y'all. Until next time, peace. Later. Be well.